Africa suffers the most from malaria of any part of the world. And a million children die from malaria every year. And when you speak of Nigeria, which is the most populous country in Africa, a third of the kids who die from malaria every year are Nigerians. The Carter Center's focus on the malaria efforts are a distribution program of long-lasting insecticidal nets. We call them LLINs. Long-lasting insecticidal nets are bed nets. They're, they're strung over um, a bed or a sleeping space. People sleep under them at night to protect themselves from the mosquitoes that transmit malaria and in partnership with uh, a number of other groups that are trying to get these long-lasting nets out. The Carter Center has been working to help get them distributed and, importantly, hung correctly and used every night. This film was shot in Plateau State, Nigeria. There were many, many hundreds of different distribution points around the Plateau State area. The target was to distribute about 1.4 million bed nets. Every house gets one voucher. Every voucher is good for two bed nets. We only wanted women to come pick up these nets because women tend to be more orderly than men in line, and that's very important in what you can see from the long lines of people is a process that requires patience and confidence that you're going to get your bed nets. When they reach the head of the line, the bed nets are handed to them. The bed nets are taken out of the plastic sleeve that they come in for a couple of reasons. Number one, if the nets came nicely packaged, there is a temptation to sell them on the market. The second reason is this is a, a very safe insecticide, but you don't want people using the plastic bag that the bed net came in to store your food, for example. The bed nets are also opened up and displayed so everyone knows how they look, and also so that people get an idea of how they ought to be hung. I went around with Dr. Miri, the head of the Carter Center's program in Nigeria, to different distribution points to see how things were going. If a distribution point did not have enough nets, a phone call could be made and additional nets could be delivered. And we were doing what you call spot checks. We were stopping, asking people alongside of the road, did you get your nets? Oh yeah, we got them. Uh, we're very happy. Did you pay anything for the nets because they should be free? Nope, we got them for free. Um, no problem. So the program doesn't end with the distribution process. There's a back end which has to do with continued health education and urging that people sleep under the bed nets. I think there's another piece as well. In the interview that I had with the local television station while I was there, the first thing the reporter said to me was, Nigerian families often have more than six or seven people. How can two bed nets be enough? She was right in that sense that this is not the end. This is the beginning. Uh, and my, uh, my reply to her was exactly that. Getting two nets per family is a first start, and I'll be very, very, very happy if we do that. Then once we've done that, we should try for four nets per family. I think what we should try and do is have every Nigerian who needs to be under a bed net, under a bed net to be protected from malaria. That's all of our goals. Don't you agree? I do. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.